Hey, so uh, how would you help me clear up something regarding Paxton Lynch? Because he started out with the Broncos strong, looked promising as the starter, and now some people are criticizing an interest, an alleged interest in video games, which I saw. Could you help uh, give us a picture as to what's happening here with uh, this media smearing, as it would, as it were? You know, what's going on? The the care and development of young quarterbacks in the NFL is a very complex process. And we've now moved to an era of instant judgment. So a quarterback comes in, he really has to deal with the adjustment in terms of reading defenses, the level of separation with the wide receiver, how fast the game moves. And it used to be we would give that young man three years before evaluating him. And now because of social media uh, and and hyper focus, in three games he's a bust. Paxton Lynch can still be a wonderful starting NFL quarterback. He's just never got the opportunity, and the injuries didn't help either. He had two starts his uh, first year. He had two starts his second year, and one of them he got injured. And what you need as a young quarterback is the ability to have rhythm to see a mistake and be able to correct it the next week. He's never had any of that. So, so frankly, the jury on Paxton Lynch is uh, incomplete. So you need to throw a quarterback the ball and, and let him go and let him learn on the field. But that hasn't happened yet with him for a variety of reasons. Um, and, you know, it's funny you think about it, Jenny, uh, all last year, 2016, Jared Goff went out seven games for the Rams. He lost all seven. He was considered to be the worst bust in the world, get rid of him, wasted first-round draft pick, and, you know, uh, he comes back and makes the Pro Bowl this year. Yeah, yeah. And if we had used the same criteria on quarterbacks like John Elway, or Peyton Manning, both of whom threw twice the interceptions and they did touchdown passes, we never would have seen their greatness. And Troy Aikman went 1-15 in his first uh, game. So um, Paxson just hasn't had the opportunity yet, and we're very much hoping it's in Denver, but we really don't have any control over what the Broncos do to improve the team, and, and I expect to be living in Denver it was very, very painful to go 5-11 and 11 after you are so used to uh, Super Bowls and being in the hunt. So I, I understand the angst, but it's misplaced if it's aimed at Paxton. Hey, how much of this problem do you think is born of a collective bargaining agreement that, for want of a better term, chokes off the ability of a coach to develop a young quarterback unlike the past with John Elway, Troy Aikman, and other quarterbacks? Well, frankly, it's more the uh, pressure to win and win today mm -hmm. and the short geese that fans and writers give to a developing quarterback. The, again, the only way to really get better is to be out there on the field. You have to live through um, some mistakes. Every once in a while, you get a Deshaun Watson who comes right out and is really super. But generally, when you see that happen, like with an art G3, who was dominating the NFL, he fell back. Colin Kaepernick under Harbaugh was a serviceable quarterback, and he fell back. Mm -hmm. So there's a process here that uh, people need to go through. One thing that has him, Sandy, is that the position of starting quarterback, a franchise quarterback, has become so critical in a quarterback-centric game that, and I'm talking about someone that you can build a team around for 10 to 12 years, someone who you win because of rather than um, uh, just with, and someone who, in the most adverse situations, the quarterback's thrown two interceptions, the crowd is booing, his center's looking at him like he must be playing on hallucinations. <laughs> and now what does he do? Can he elevate his level of play in that adversity, compartmentalize, adopt a quiet mind, 
and then take a team, you know, on his back through the playoffs to the Super Bowl. That's what everybody's looking for. But if you don't give the young quarterback a chance to develop, you may look forever.